Oh, I was meant to get a selfie. Lover! Bye, Mum! Bye! Bye, Mum! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello and uh, welcome to another one. As you can see, I'm not driving. Mr. O's driving, he's my chauffeur again today, but we're not alone. We're with Simon, who's hiding there in the background. We've just given Simon something he's never had before. I don't remember that sound right, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We've just brought Simon into Scotland. Yes, you've heard it, we're actually in Scotland. We're on the road, we're on the motorway at the moment. Uh, we're supposed to be at the NEC in Birmingham, which is the big camera show this weekend, but it was cancelled due to the coronavirus. So, in my wisdom, I thought, let's try and do something different. Let's, let's, let's go out for the day anyway. So I put it to the guys, yep, yeah, should we go out? Yes, they said. Owen comes up with a plan as he's sitting there. Should we go to Scotland and do a sunrise at Glencoe, at Glenateef? I went, you're joking, aren't you? Simon, he was all over it. So guess what we're doing? We are going to Scotland. We're heading up to Glenateef, um, near the famous waterfall and Mount Bolkler something. Got a B and an L on an issue in it. Um, that's where we're heading. That's what we're going to do tomorrow morning. Owen's driving. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do a lot here because obviously I'm in the car. It's raining at the moment, but up in Scotland, we've been on the uh, Glencoe Mountain Resort um, weather app and they've got live cameras up there and there's loads and loads and loads of snow up there so i'm so excited to get up there and get myself some snowy shots so uh, really really looking forward to it and yeah we've got another 135 miles to go so we we are heading there we are not you know we're, we're heading into the the right realms of the area and like i say simon's never even been to scotland before so this is going to be one hell of a weekend for him or one hell of a day we're going literally with what's the time now uh 20 to five, 20 to five. it's 20 to five we left about two o'clock this afternoon and uh, yeah we'll be home tomorrow evening so that's it as crazy as we might be three lads one car lots of Fuji cameras and we're gonna go and get a sunrise at Glencoe so I'll speak to you when we get somewhere in the region of photography weather photography weather a photography area even speak to you in a bit
Well, it's starting to get a little bit darker. Uh, we're not quite where we want to be yet. We've still got another 55 miles to go. Um, we're just heading up the side of Loch Lomond at the moment. So if you've never been to Scotland, Loch Lomond is uh, the biggest water mass in uh, the UK. Uh, it's quite a big piece of water. It's 22 miles long. I think Simon's just found out on his phone. Uh, it's not Loch Ness. Loch Ness is the deepest, uh, which is the most famous one, but Loch Lomond's pretty big. Uh, the sun's going down, or the sun's gone down. It's starting to get a bit dark now, so I probably won't be able to do a lot of more footage tonight. So chances are I might leave you with a little bit of B-roll and I'll catch up with you in the morning when it's going to be gorgeous and snowy and beautiful sunrise to see. So yeah, checking out for tonight. See you in the morning and enjoy the rest of the video. Good morning and uh, welcome. We've made it. We're here. I told you we were coming to Scotland last night, didn't I? We got a good night's sleep. Well, not a bad night's sleep in our little cabin after we found it. Uh, we went out for something to eat, got some nice dinner, plenty of sausage down us. The rain's here though. There's no snow as promised, it's raining. But there is snow up on those mountains. So we've got a good picture. Uh, I'm studying the classic. There is um, this place, if you know this place or you don't know this place, I'm going to tell you. This is the classic position. You stand in front of the waterfall, it leads up to the Buckle, uh, the Black Mountain, what I call it. But you can't move around a lot because right down here beside me is some serious lush mud. And it's not just a sort of mudgy step on, it's a sort of mudgy sinking. It's pretty good <laughs> if you want to sink in it. Now you can't really move around a lot, so me and Simon, see Simon's here, all ready to go. Uh, me and Simon have sort of stood on the side in the classic position. Mr O's gone up there a little bit to try and get a slightly different angle. He was here a few weeks ago. Um, I got the camera out, the camera's quite low at the moment. Uh, I've had a few test shots just to sort of frame something up. I've been here before, I've been here two or three times. Uh, it's quite a lot of water to be honest, quite a lot of water. I've been here when there was not a lot at all, it was really icy. Uh, I've bung a couple of pictures up for you as I'm talking of different times when I've been here and taken a similar shot. And basically all I'm doing is going for the simple classic waterfall, leading lines, little tree on the right hand side, or the left hand side of the image, sorry, and then the Bookwall Mountain up in the background with the snow on it, which is at the moment covered in uh, some low cloud and mist and drizzle and rain and stuff. It's given to dry up about 8 o'clock. It is still early at the moment. I don't, probably 6, just after 6 maybe if we're lucky. Um, we're not going to get any sunrise colour, that's for damn sure, but we're here, we're in the middle of Scotland, Simon's never been here before, so it's an absolute treat for him, and uh, yeah, well, I, I love the place, so I'm going to get myself set up, get a few images, I'll pop up a couple, like I said, as I've been talking, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you when the drizzle lays off a little bit, and I can actually talk and uh, do something at the same time. 
I might even try and find a different position. Maybe get over on the bank on that side. If I can get round to that side and shoot maybe across the waterfall, that might just give me a slightly different angle. I could put the mountain on the on a bit of a different angle then. So uh, it just means getting across this, and that is not easy to get across. do what I said I was going to do and uh, I've come over the other side you can see where I was before I was over on that bank over there so now I've come over a little bit closer to the waterfall and I'm standing right above the uh, main cascade now and it's given me another couple of options now I've managed to get a bit more of a sweep coming through the image I've still got the same tree I've still got the same buccal mountain in it um, but I've just got a slightly different angle <coughs> conditions wise are pretty pretty sour to be honest it does it's not looking very impressive it is if it's for your first time it's going to be amazing but it's just difficult to get a shot it's like drizzly horrible drizzly rain it's just getting everything wet every time you take the, the cover off it i've got it covered in a plastic bag at the moment um, i forgot my umbrella these two guys have had their umbrella which is quite lucky um, i'll explain what i've done though i took a horizontal shot and i've also done it in vertical as well because i've got i like both orientations I'm not too keen about the really dark stuff down the side here, but I can live with it. It's all about the water and the mountain, in all fairness. Um, and try what I've tried to do, I've got the camera set up on, I think it's 5.6, no, 7.1, sorry. I'm on 7.1 to give me a little bit of depth of field in the image without having to take too many shots. Uh, I focused on this rock about there um, and just hope that the rest of it's going to be sharp enough for what I want. I didn't want to take too many shots in this sort of conditions because um, the rain's just getting on the lens all the time. And, and what I did to try and change the dimension of the water is I've taken a shot at one, ISO 160. I took one at 400, one at 800, and one at 1600. Each time the shutter speed, because I'm in aperture priority, each time the shutter speed's got faster and faster, <coughs> which is why I like to shoot in a shutter, you know, aperture priority, because it gives you that option to quickly flick the ISO and change the speed. So I've done that to try and slow the water down and try and get a little bit more... Um, texture in the water rather than having it too smooth and then I can just try and blend them in so I've done that on a horizontal and I've done it on a vertical so uh, the pictures are all right they're okay anyone that's never been here is going to love them but uh, I think I think I've seen better and I think I've even taken better uh, but I'm going to show you it's part of being here oh he's just gone back to the car now because he's wet and uh, yeah it's a bit lifeless but we've got the rest of the morning in Glencoe before we head off back so we're going to take a few more pictures and I will take you with me no matter how long this video turns out so uh, yeah that's pretty much all I've managed to do from here a fantastic place if you're ever in Scotland Glenateef waterfall uh, with the Buchwall mountain or whatever I don't know how you pronounce it but the name's obviously been up on the screen before um, absolutely stunning classic to take but extremely extremely muddy and I mean muddy We're having a we're having a moment. Mr. Owen's got his brand new trousers on, his waterproofs, and he thinks he's broken them already. One wear. <laughs> we're not having not having a lot of success this morning, but he's got the coffee on the go. Oh, and I forgot my coffee cup yesterday as well, so I haven't got my nice. And here comes the rain again. Your umbrella's inside out. I um yeah I forgot my uh, proper coffee cup, so I ended up having to buy one. But this is a cool little cup, so it's going to live in my van, little plastic one, and uh, yeah, it'll do the job. But Simon's taking photographs. We've bailed out over there because the conditions are just 
hard work, very, very hard work. But I'm sure I've got a few images, I'm sure you've already seen a few. It's not the end of the day, like I said, well, we are gonna go and uh, gonna go and do a bit more. So uh, we're gonna go back for breakfast, check out the little cabin we're in, and uh, we'll see you a little bit later on somewhere else in Glencoe. We've just had a mad panic five minutes. We were just driving back just to come up to the viewpoint by the little cottage and a small glimpse of light appeared in the, in the clouds behind us and uh, we thought, oh, let's just jump, jump out of the car. There's another one there, I can see it now out the window. Uh, there's just, can you see this? Let's see if I can spin you around and see this. Just there. Yeah, we, we got it. We got a rainbow on the buccal. Um, I'm just going to put it down a minute. Hang on, I'll be back a sec. Oh, rain everywhere. <laughs> Amateurs. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Very professional. Yeah. these flasks <laughs> did you hear that see Owen recommends these nice coffee cups isn't he a gentleman <laughs> just because I forgot mine um, this is the where the accommodation is or where we stopped and we've got mountains all around this side mountains all around this side and this was our little humble abode for the night which is pretty cool um, little cabins we are in Kinlochen I think it isn't it Kinlochen I think okay. I think, I think, I think. Um, but yeah, just look at the views all around us. So I thought it was well worth uh, showing you this little place. And we are now definitely going for breakfast.